Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. In this episode of Luminar 2018 Tips and Tricks, we're gonna, you guessed it, whiten teeth. This is an image that I got off of Adobe Stock, and you can see the teeth are a little bit yellow, and it's really very, very easy to whiten teeth. We're just gonna use one filter. So I have the image in Luminar, and I'm gonna go to Add Filters, and the filter you want to add is the HSL filter. It's in the professional section of your filters catalog. So we're going to add that. We're going to close down the filters catalog. And what you want to do is go to saturation. So make sure you're on the saturation tab. And you mainly want to be concerned with orange and yellow. Take the saturation of yellow all the way down to minus 100. And you could see it improve the teeth right away. We'll do the same thing with orange. We'll bring that down. You may not have to bring orange all the way down to minus 100, but once you bring it down, you can see that the teeth whitened up very nicely. But of course, the filter affects the entire image. Now for this image, all we see are the person's lips and a little bit of their face. But of course, if you had a regular portrait here, even a lifestyle portrait with some, you know, stuff in the background you know grass and sky and whatever all that would lose all the yellow that was in it and most of the orange so we need to apply a mask so we're gonna apply a filter mask now in previous episodes I mentioned that we could put these adjustments on their own layer if that's the case then you'd probably want to apply a layers mask but we're gonna do this with the filters mask so I'm gonna click on this little brush right here and we're going to go to brush and when you do that the brush tool opens up you can see it here and what you want to do usually is invert the mask now I received a question someone said why did you invert the mask if you're just gonna paint it in you could just paint out the adjustment well you could I could just go to the erase mode here and then just paint out the adjustment but usually it's much easier to paint in the adjustment especially with the teeth a lot less painting involved here when I'm painting in the adjustment because the teeth take up a lot less area than the rest of the image. So it's much easier to paint in the adjustment. So we're going to invert the mask. We're going to click on mask and we're going to go to invert. And when I do that, it removed the adjustment. You can see we have the yellow teeth back. Now, what we want is our softness of our brush around 50%. It's doesn't matter somewhere around 50% is good and you want a brush to start out with relatively large so I'm going to use the right bracket key and make the brush relatively big and I'll come in and readjust that as needed so we'll come in and we'll do just a real quick paint um, you know paint strokes on the teeth now the brush is relatively large and I'm going to make it smaller in a moment. At this point, what I recommend you do when you make that brush a little smaller is you would like to reveal the mask. It will help you better paint in the adjustment. So we're going to go back up to the mask drop down and we're going to go to show mask and you can see that everywhere I painted is red. Now I'm going to make a, get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key and then this helps me better come in and really apply it to just the teeth. You want to try to avoid the gums and you'll notice that there's some parts of the gums too that are a touch yellow so you might want to just touch those a bit with the soft edge of your brush and you might even have to get a smaller brush at times to get into these locations that are kind of back in here. So we're going to go relatively quickly of course. I would gather that you're probably going to go a lot more carefully than I am in this video. So we'll go real quick. Come in here. Of course now remember if you make a mistake if you accidentally slip and go across where you don't want to go just go to erase mode. Click on the erase button right there and then erase your mistake. So then go back to paint and we'll continue on our journey of whitening teeth. So, go real quick. I know this is really exciting. You guys are riveted watching me whiten teeth. Go relatively 
fast as possible. I'm using a mouse. Uh, my Wacom tablet is actually about 12 inches to my right, and I probably should use that. It probably would go a lot quicker. But that's okay. Oops, made a little mistake there, but we'll leave it for the sake of time. And we'll come in here like this and like this and finally like that. All right, now we're going to turn the mask off. So we're going to click on the mask um, drop down and go to hide mask. So there are our white teeth. You can see how sometimes in the gum a little bit, it will get a little bit yellow as well. You could just come in there and just kind of whiten those up. And, you know, for a real quick job, that looks okay. There's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So that's how you whiten teeth in Luminar 2018. It's very, very easy to do. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.